Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be sharing with you some Body Shop Christmas items. I do apologize for this video being a little bit late. I did pick these up in the Boxing Day sale and yeah, I'm sure many of you can still pick up some of these with their Christmas sales going on now. So I thought I would still post them and I thought they would still be of interest. So here we go. So I'm starting with the warm vanilla products. Uh, I did do a bigger warm vanilla product video maybe a week, two weeks ago. Uh, so I will leave that link down below because it has other products that aren't actually featured in this video um, and pretty much most of the range of the warm vanilla products. So yeah, if you're interested in that, go and check it out. So the first product I have is the Softening Body Butter from the Warm Vanilla range. And the body butters are fast becoming my favorite product from the body shop as a beginner, a newbie. Um, this one is no different. This smells absolutely amazing. The warm vanilla scent is pretty much like it sounds. It, sm it smells like this beautiful, just rich, intense vanilla smell. Um, there's not a lot of other complexities to the scent I find. I just find it smells very vanilla-like, uh, very similar to Lush Vanillary. Uh, this is probably a little bit more vanillary than vanillary. I know that sounds kind of weird, but the Lush one is probably a little bit more fresher in scent than this one. This is more richer. That It's very, very small in the difference. But if you are familiar with Lush's range, this is a great alternative. If you're looking for a body butter in that scent, uh, you know, because Lush doesn't have a lot of vanilla products in their range, unfortunately, uh, but they do have that beautiful, beautiful perfume. So yeah, this is a nice little compliment to that as well. I found that the moisture lasts quite a long time. I usually use the body butters overnight because they are a richer formula. So I really let them soak into my skin while I'm sleeping. And yeah, it was very, very enjoyable and I really liked it. And the second and last product is the Sugar Lip Scrub. As many of you know, I am a Lush addict when it comes to their lip scrubs. This one is a little bit different in texture, but it is also a really, really good one. So this one has a more oily texture, which I tend to not really like when it comes to lip scrubs. I've tried the Wet n Wild ones before, and they have a very, very uh, oily texture, and I really hate them. But this one is different because it's not a petroleum sort of feeling like the Wet n Wild ones are. They're very sort of sticky and petroleum vaseline kind of feel. This one actually just feels like you're rubbing uh, like vegetable oil on your lips, I guess is probably the closest sensation I can get to this. Um, I don't like the fact that with the oil ones, the sugar pieces do tend to stick more on the lips and it is harder to get them off. You usually have to wipe them off um, with uh, a towel or something like that, like a you know, whatever you're using. Um, so that is one thing that I don't like about this lip scrub because I did try and lick off what I could, but I found I was licking a lot of the oil off and yeah, it kind of made me feel a little bit sick. Um, but yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. I wouldn't put this in your bag as like an on the go thing like the Lush lip scrubs are because the Lush ones, you can definitely lick them off without any drama and there's less oil in them and they're more sugary. So they rub the, the rubbing action is a lot more intense and you do get a lot more off your lips, if that makes sense, in terms of dead skin and stuff. Whereas this one, probably a little bit more gentler. Um, so yeah, I, I don't mind it, but there is obviously downsides to this lip scrub, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, obviously the body butter is a five out of five. That is a, that is a given. But yeah, I do like the taste of this, but it can make you feel a little bit sick if you're having that sort of oil feeling um, on your lips when you're licking it off. That, that's just me personally. I don't know how you guys feel about that. But for that reason, I will have to probably give it a three out of five rating. Uh, yeah, just, just for that reason. And the non-versatility of the product in terms of I can't sort of leave my house with this um, without having a towel or a facial wipe with me to wipe it off. So yeah, that, it's just a minor thing, but you know, it, it's definitely something to note. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support I get on this channel. Please stay tuned for more Lush reviews like this. No, not Lush, Body Shop, Body Shop. I'm so used to saying Lush reviews because <laughs> my channel's mainly Lush. But yes, more Body Shop reviews like this. And until next time, take care and I hope to see you very soon. Bye for now.